Okay, so playing a 2014. This was a 10 minute game. I'm just going to take you through. So push D4. Developed as usual, just uh, taking pieces off the board, so capturing. I was thinking of going fancy, you know, not taking mistake to take and all that, but then I went back to my the system which is the answer process taking pieces off the board strategically now i know purists will say well you know you've got to refrain from taking pieces you know but at some stage you have to take a piece unless nothing happens on the board so it's a bit of a misnomer saying don't take pieces off the board it's taking them off strategically so even if you're taking it off early on in the game if it's strategically sound in your mind then remove that piece from the board if it's not forming part of your strategy then obviously then you refrain from doing it simple as that so don't let the purists um, say to you oh you shouldn't be taking pieces off the board you should be sitting back and waiting um, you can do that when you get a little bit better but even then you should be considering should you be taking strategically at that moment in time I play a lot of high high level players well these 2000 areas and they get shocked when you're taking pieces off the board and they tend to not know what to do once you're taking pieces off the board because they don't have anything to keep any tension with it's a really surreal thing so we came here now we saw this particular pattern which is quite nice actually I thought oh yeah I've seen this done um, so if the king takes then the queen comes here then we've got the nice little horizontal situation going on here uh, which is quite nice and the opponent took a while over the next move because they actually saw I think what was going to happen so they brought the king through thinking it was going to be fast enough to protect the bishop but it wasn't so now we castle king safety that's a key thing nice and basic so we didn't do anything fancy there just looked at um, nice targeting not quick and dirty tactics now we're looking at improving our position on the board but is it going to be to our benefit so we bring the bishop through why have we bring the bishop through so we can attack something which is the queen you know so we're not doing it for um, no reason so then they bring their rook through so we continue with the attack on the queen with the bishop and then we attack the king again so constantly putting pressure on and then they bring the pawn down so we can capture and capture and now we do have a check again with the rook on the king so he has to distance himself so his king is it's home alone in a sense if these pieces don't want to be sat around protecting the king the king has got no basic protection on it so we can grab a pawn here so now the position that we've got we've got like a nice attack on the king here we've got a nice position here if we wanted to exchange the queen off but we also do have a diagonal with the bishop so if the queen wants to get fancy and take the pawn we could come down and look to see if we can squish the king a little bit so they do actually come down with the pawn so we bring our queen up looking to squish a little bit but then they bring the knight across we can bring our queen back again and so they bring their knight back so they've lost a bit of tempo in terms of development now their queen is sat there all alone so we can attack the queen and this is a 2014 level player and they bring their bishop through they've got a piece under attack I looked to see if there was some sort of fancy continuation onto my king but it looks like they're going to lose their queen and at that point they resigned so simple things like leaving your queen or um, free to be taken happens at all levels and the simple attacks that we did against uh, this opponent again were simple strategies simple basic strategies following each other up supporting pieces and working my pieces together as a team all simple stuff so even as you're going higher up in your levels if you start thinking about going arty and not taking a piece just because you know you don't want to lose pieces off the ball but then your position's still bad anyway even if you're not taking a piece 
might need to reframe the thinking and basically look at simple maneuvers if you're wanting to improve in your chest play it's okay doing these fancy dancing moves to end up in a similar position that i would end up in if i just do a simple move what's the point in doing the dance in the first place so keep it simple keep it real and I'd, it's really interesting to me watching um, high level players and their um, narrations on how to develop in your game and the technical aspects of going through all these really fancy fancy maneuvers and fancy techniques and strategies but when it comes down to it you look at their actual game they're doing simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board eventually yeah so no matter how you cut the dice or slice your bread or cook your egg however you want to do it yeah you're still going to be removing pieces from the board strategically if you're gonna dance and you're gonna do a massive waltz just to get to the same result that we're looking to get to then really you may be missing a trick and the practicalities of it are that the next person below you who is using simple techniques will beat you because you're being too arty it's a 10 minute 5 second game casual a rapid game
that's how you get a draw against the 2020. Interesting game. We were losing and then we came back again. All part of the answer process. Let's have a look at the analysis. Key thing genuinely is position play. I mean, maybe we got lucky, but we were in the game. I didn't have a flap about anything. It was down a, a minor piece, but was that extra piece that the opponent had, was that being used in the right way? So let's take a look. So I developed the Knights, just hopping through here. Captured, captured. And if Albar's in their favour at the minute, but where's the crucial point here? Bit of dancing with the Knight. Doesn't like our Queen move because they didn't take advantage of it, whatever it was. And then our Knight was getting trapped and I could feel it was getting trapped but I thought well I'll just sacrifice it if it if it can't go anywhere so we jumped in and sacrificed it because it opens up space in front of their king now this was where I believe the opponent had the problem and um, the gauge bar is showing yes white is out and out winning because they've got a minor piece off the board but positionally in my head because we're practicing the answer process and don't forget we're doing this against a 2020 it's got a question mark on it but a 2020 with a question mark on is still good because you have to have played quite a few games and won a few games to get to 2020 even with a question mark let me just have a quick shift here at the yes i just checked i mean they played 35 games and i don't think they've lost many of them so basically uh, that's why they're at 2020 with a question mark at the moment so it's a provisional rating but um you know they must be doing quite well if they're consistently winning so we've opened up space in front of their king and hold on has it missed it yeah we go so now we're looking to take try and take advantage of that his dark square bishop's doing a really good job defending the pawn but at the minute there's no other pieces in front of his king really protecting his king the rooks at the side but i don't class the rooks as um, helping the kings the rooks are wanting to do their own thing they need to own a file for their strength so we bring the rook through now looking to maybe um, exchange the queen off make it better for us and try and own the file and then they move this queen move here and i'm thinking e it's probably why it's a 2020 provisional um, because at this moment I'm thinking I'm not too sure what that move was so we bring our dark square bishop now looking to challenge this really strong powerful dark square bishop they've got in front of their king then they bring their bishop attacking our queen so it goes to show that the higher level players they play simple maneuvers too and they suffer from bad positions etc we're a minor piece down and we're playing like we're the one with the minor piece up tax the tax our queen our queen can now move to the side gauge bar is not on our side whatsoever i'm not even paying any attention to it in this eval because it's never going to be on our side especially in a case like this so he brings the king down now supporting his um pawn we take the rook off the board so now basically that bishop is blocked by the white square bishop so we can bring the rook through attacking the bishop he attacks our queen lovely position for our queen so we're starting to make inroads into pressuring the king area as we did right from the start from the knight opening up that space around the king we've been targeting their king area his queen and his rook are on the other side of the board even his white square bishop is on the other side of the board the only one that is really saving the king is this dark square bishop really powerful dark square bishop so we can now challenge this bishop i thought the gauge bar would have been a little bit happier for us but because they've got a minor piece up it's not going to be happy to for us at all it's not looking at the position on the board at this moment in time anyway so we're doubling up and then they bring the bishop through and I thought I don't know this must be a panic move because we could capture the bishop so now it's like equalized the material and now 
it's minus 0.6 so we're out on our winning here whether or not we took advantage of that or not we felt like we were doing what we could do to try and squish the king so they brought the queen across now looking for the exchange i'm thinking i don't really think so this is a strong position for us rook comes through yes he can take the pawn on the bottom just snap a pawn here bring the queen back again because i'm liking this x-ray that we've got through onto the king brings his rook back gives us time to actually take the bishop off the board at this point here the opponent then is basically looking for a draw um and i thought to myself well i could potentially try and do something look at that it's like minus nine here and but i thought to myself i don't really know i think i'm just gonna move it backwards and for forwards just to be an annoyance yeah because i'm only 2002 they're 2020 um a draw is acceptable and but yeah didn't think i was out and out winning i did feel it was a better position i'm gonna play through some moves let's see so if i moved here and then he moves back again the queen c2 that's where we went mm -hmm. yes let's move there i think i'm gonna end up trapping him yes 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 i think we're gonna end up trapping him if the queen takes which they probably would want to do what does he do? We're going to have a discover check on his king. His king moves off the line, maybe. But that, that's going backwards. Hmm. Could have done that, you know. But never mind. We didn't. Uh, we chose the safer option of going for a draw. But it's nice looking at the evaluation and that's a very meaty advantage we had there did feel like we had an advantage but again taking the risk sometimes in a game where you feel not too sure um yeah i'm, I'm happy with that